Well, we're going to make the media pay for what they did to me. They made it hard for me to live a normal life. I can't go yeah. out into public. I can't go to the store. It's hard for me to go anywhere without security. your first question with regard to what we plan to do with the tech companies of course we're looking at those and I think the first one that I'm taking a look at is uh, Facebook uh, Mark Zuckerberg uh, announced in a videotape that what Kyle was involved in was a mass murder and that's clearly defamatory as well uh, that's not protected by section 230 the Communications Decency Act in my opinion section 230 allows you to take down you know violent things or or you know things that that people don't want to hear but telling the truth about Kyle is not something that section 230 enabled Facebook to take down uh, Kyle was charged with a crime news organizations are allowed to report on that but you know calling somebody a murderer in certain circumstances can be actionable other things that uh, uh, media uh, personalities people on social media said were clearly defamatory I think your comment about uh, calling Kyle a white supremacist is made up out of thin air. I don't know how uh, a media can claim that they didn't make a statement made up out of thin air without engaging in actual malice or most certainly negligence. So I think that we have some strong grounds to proceed. Uh, we're looking at, we're starting to look at all those. We're going to evaluate them and look for opportunities to hold the media and to hold tech accountable as Kyle's promised. make the media pay for what they did to me. They made it hard for me to live a normal life. I can't go yeah. out into public. I can't go to the store. It's hard for me to go anywhere without security. Shoot, doing basic things like taking my dog to the dog park is difficult. So they made it really difficult to be normal and they affected future job opportunities to me. I don't think I'll ever be able to work or get a job because I'm afraid an employer may not hire me. So Kyle, when you go into public, do people repeat to you things that they saw on social media or on, say, NBC News or CNN? There's been a few people. I've received some harassment, and thank goodness for my security, LTTC and Kenny and Dave, for helping me, like, not have to get harassed to make sure that they, like, keep me safe. And if somebody does come up to me, they make sure that they're not going to harm me. So thank God for them. Hey guys, if you like smart, nuanced, left-right conversations and interviews in a world where there are very few of those. Do you want to hear both sides of an issue? Do you want to hear people debate it out? Then you need to subscribe to our new YouTube channel by clicking the link in the description or the pop-up button that appears on your screen.